so it's the end of the season we're gonna take her out all right YouTube what's up so today I figured I'd start talking about my AC in the camper I'm gonna remove it I already took a piece of tape off so I figured I'd walk through and talk about how it worked out for me this season all right so here it is all, right, all I used was some tape I'll take a step back here for a second. This is a second gen Dakota with a cap. I got a cargo carrier. That's a Ford Escape rack that I put on there. And somehow I came to this. But I got an AC hanging outside of the truck. It's worked pretty good. So this is the camper. Got tools back here. That's where the battery and solar controller is. I have a big pure sine wave inverter. That and... You know, it was like, you know, just testing it for the year, so I never really finished it. I feel like if I were to redo it, we'd, um, you know, finish her up a little nicer. But I just have that plugged into an inverter with the solar invert, solar controller and battery. And, uh, so that's that. Just opened the window, insulated it. So like I said, I had it running off of 12 volts for off-grid, and when I did any on-grid camping, a lot of the times you can just pay for electric, and you know, even when you're trucking, when you're traveling, they got like in Ohio, they got those on this side of the highway RV stops, so I used it a few times on-grid and a few times off-grid, both times it's been great off-grid. The battery or the inverter was the problem. I don't have the inverter aired out so well, but it would run for about an hour. Just plenty to keep it cool. Got an L bracket screwed in to the AC and to the channel, the window frame. And I did about 4,000 miles, rough estimate. I went to Indiana with it. I'm starting in New Jersey and I went down to South Carolina with it. So it's a lot of miles. As you can see, now we're inside. I'm trying to peel this shit. That sucks. My Velcro was on top of the uh, tape. So that's it, it was just taped in. It did leak a little water, like I said. I would refine it if I had the chance to do it again. And I think that would be next season. I'd probably use silicone, which would make removal a little harder. So there you go. It just sits on the bottom. And I got it screwed into the top of the channel. So I mean, if I were to get into an accident or something, like if this were to hit something, I think it would just like rip the whole fiberglass and the frame completely out of the truck. But I guess that's what you want, you know, like, you know, like the structure of it to around it to fail, not actually. So. That's good. So this is the inside of my camper. And, you know, it's it's not what I would pick. But, uh, you know, the saying is no ca camper or RV is perfect for you. So this is the truck I have. This is the truck I worked with. I always wanted to build a van, but I had a truck. So, you know, if you ever wanted to build a camper, I'd say just use whatever you have. I mean, welcome to my... It's really like a bed more than a camper, but I, one, one of the uh, trips this year, I used it eight days in a row, so that was pretty cool. I've become pretty comfortable in here. I don't know if I'd live in here. That's a bit tough, but uh, yeah, I mean, like, subscribe, and you know, do all the things. Van life, baby.
All right, until I have a better place to put it, it's just gonna sit there for now. Should probably clean that nasty window, and we're good. So my battery is an old sump pump battery. We're only charging at 12.5, but you know, I don't use it that often or anything, so I, no rush to build a new battery. Like I said, I work with what I got. Got a little computer exhaust fan that could be upgraded but works. And this, these are all out of like an old Ford Econo line. That, and, and these were like a center unit that I split on the uh, table saw. And this is just cheap carpeting. And you know, that works out great. You got the bright lights for when you're looking for shit. You got the mood lighting for when, you know, it's late and you just need a little bit of light to see stuff. And that's it. Well, once again, my second gen Dakota, named the Durango. Got the custom cargo box. The trailer lights. And the three amber runners. We got a little bit of rock crawling light shit going on on this guy. And yeah. She's hooked up to the trailer right now, so she's squatted. I uh, parked it a little too close. So well, that's it, that's my ring. Thanks for watching. And uh, if you got any questions about the camper, let me know. Peace out. I forgot to mention, uh, it's got stupid ass tow mirrors that are great. You gotta drill the door for those. And then this is my 100 watt solar panel. I wanted it to sort of appear like a, um, sunroof and i believe it's 100 watt flexible i just got it on there with 3m tape and just like the air conditioner i think this has done more than 3,000, 4,000 miles so i you know you worried about the glue coming off or something i think water gets under there so i'll probably have a rusty roof but oh well anyway that's the Duramgo dodge Hashtag. Come a long way from uh, the burnout you're about to see. Or something. We out.